Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I'm showing you a LEGO Harry Potter mock. I haven't done one of these in a long time since last summer, so I thought it would be a perfect fit to actually do one now with the new Harry Potter sets being released. So without further ado, let's check this Gryffindor common room out. The first thing I want to mention is that I built this in the same style as the Harry Potter sets, at least the new wave, so you'll see nougat bricks scattered among the tan pieces, and it's not built with any sand green, unfortunately, like the old 2010 and 2011 sets. I didn't look at any reference pictures when building this or follow any specific layout. That's why it doesn't look like anything from the Harry Potter films. But I did incorporate a pretty cool feature I did remember from the movies, and that was the staircases leading up to the dormitory sections with the girls being on the left side and the boys being on the right side. Or maybe I switched that up. It's one of the two, but I really like the way it looks. But starting from the middle, you can see that there is a curved wall in the background, and I really like the way that thing turned out. It's a very simple technique. I'll do a tutorial if any of you guys want a tutorial on this technique. It's so incredibly simple. I think LEGO actually has a tutorial on their channel, but basically it makes a pretty cool curved wall effect for the fireplace to sit in between those windows and make a really comfy, more cozy style feel to this mock. In front of that are the very iconic red chairs that everybody sits in when they enter the common room. It's very simple. I used some pretty cool curved slope pieces to actually build that, and I never actually used those pieces, so I think I might keep these chairs together. And the whole floor is tiled off with brown tiles because I don't think the nougat would have really gone well, especially when the brick walls were nougat as well. So I think that really complements the rest of the area. There's also some pretty cool desks that are on either side. That's for working and studying and doing basic stuff that you would do in Hogwarts. I don't know, because I've never been. But I think that really ties in the whole central area, especially because the middle is very open. To make that feel a little less empty, I put two minifigures in there being Ron and Hermione. Those aren't custom, so they actually look pretty good. It came in the Great Hall set from last year. And of course, the final sections to this mock are the dorm sections. There's a girl spot and a boy spot. They're actually identical except for being a mirror image of each other. There's two beds, each which are covered with the wooden planks or whatever you call these beds. I don't think they're dorm beds. I, I really don't know. But I think they're pretty accurate to the films, at least from what I remember. There's also some junk on the left and right hand sides to show the work that students are doing. But that's pretty much it to this basic build. I know it's not too complex, but I'm pretty happy with the results. If you are as well, let me know down below. I will leave more links to Harry Potter mocks so you can check those out. Those are from last year though, so be warned. They're a little bit old, but that's it. So as always, thanks so much for watching and most importantly, take care guys.